Hello everyone, this is Venom Geek Media here, and uh, today we're doing another Trek discussion video. Uh, this time it's going to be a little bit different, it's going to be a little more fun, a little lighter, a little bit more loosey-goosey, you know. Uh, we're going to talk about uniforms. Now, you're all probably rolling your eyes and thinking, oh, here comes another guy talking about uniforms. I mean, uh, Law did a series on uniforms, Triangulum's done a, a, a uniform series. It's like, no, no, I'm, I'm not doing something like that. Okay, those are boring. Yeah, we all know what the uniforms look like, and frankly, all those series do is just describe them. I'm not here to describe the uniforms. We're all big enough nerds, we all know what they look like. I'm here to criticise and have and make fun of them. Uh, so we're going to start with a uniform that really, well, apart from the title, you know, I can't really make much fun of it beyond that, you know. Coast Guard in space. That's that's all I can. Re that's the only real joke I've got to it. Uh, it's the it's the Enterprise uniform. I thought we'd go in you know chronological order. Um, it's very difficult for me to find issues with it. Um, it's not smart, but they don't pretend that it is smart. It's not meant to look smart. It's what it's meant to do is look very kind of close to modern day uniforms and it does that incredibly well that's why I can make that joke about it basically looking like the US Coast Guard because they do uh, it, it, it is you know that kind of it looks like a very practical comfortable uniform and it's hard to take issue with that you know you can't really fault Starfleet for going with a more practical design especially when they've gone with so many uncomfortable impractical or will go with so many uncomfortable and impractical designs in the future you know i mean really it's a, it's quite baffling that you know they start with this and then they end up with like the pajama suits or the 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 tng onesies uh, i mean these are i think full jumpsuits you look at them they they have they're the full jumpsuit um but I mean, you know, it's it is a jumpsuit, but it's comfortable and it's you know it's workable. It makes sense that this is something that they'd wear, and it it's very realistic to real life. Um, if I was to take issue with it, it's pretty difficult. I, I like the way they did the department colours. That's all good, um, and I like the kind of just the practicalness of it I you know I'm I, I like practical uniforms um, I think it's it, it's very good you know and okay it maybe doesn't look great on TV um, but it makes the universe feel more believable and it matches the whole thing enterprise was going for um, if I was to like just on the base uniform if I was to fault it for one thing I'd say it's quite a bright blue like almost too bright and maybe this is to do with like the the way Enterprise is shot, how how it's lit, um, you know. Because it, but it's it's a very bright blue, and it's actually quite washed out as well. And I'm thinking that it perhaps would have looked better if it was a slightly darker blue. It wouldn't be so washed out. Sort of more, maybe more towards Discovery blue, or. I would actually say my, and this is easily my favourite of the uniforms from Enterprise is the Admiral uniforms. These are very nice. Um, these are really good, and again have a really good comparison, or are very similar to the uh, naval uniforms uh, of today in terms of officers, particularly um, you know flag officers, uh, in that they wear they have a tie and shirt on the underneath. Which is, I believe, what naval num naval number two uniforms are. Uh, it may be different in the between, like the American Navy and the and the British Navy. But as far as I'm aware, that's the number two uniform, which is a shirt and tie, um, which is you know, very smart and very business-like, and has actually been the way for uh, about a hundred years at this point um, for officers. Um, but the actual uh, coat that the Admiral wears on top of it is also very nice. It's a very nice dark blue and I think that looks great. Um, I think it works much better than the um, than the bright blue that the rest of Enterprise gets. Um, 
So really, I mean, that, that to me is a really nice uniform. And again, it strikes a good balance. I also really like the use of the, I want to say, sort of pink or purple. The pur I think it's purple uh, to designate on the shoulder to designate them as an Admiral Purple with white piping. Uh, that's very smart. But yeah, I mean, that's a, it's a nice uniform. It's very good. It's very hard to make fun of. Um, they also have um, their away team dress, which I really like. I just like having an away team uniform, uh, you know, that is for, you know, different environments, different planets. Not that just putting on a different jacket would help you cope with uh, the variety of challenges alien planets pose, even if they're only slightly different from Earth. You know, if they're if they're if they have like slightly stronger gravity, then you know you'll probably collapse on you'll probably fall down much easier. You'll probably break a bone. Uh, if they have less oxygen, you work. You know, <laughs> but the um, that's me just looking into it too much. You know, suspend your disbelief, and it's a good, it's a good jacket. It's it's nice. Um, again, I'm not sure about that washed out blue. It almost comes off as a pale purple at that point. So you know, and maybe it's to do with how Enterprise was lit um, as a show, but I, I it it doesn't always always a kind of purpley grey. Another element of the uh, Enterprise uniform that I quite like is the baseball cap that they all wear on, on occasion uh, and again I like it again it pertains very well to um, modern militaries and you know it also reinforces that this whole thing like what the NX-01 is meant to be that it's meant to be this big scientific mission um, it's a Starfleet is a it's still I mean it's a defense force but it's very much with a with a emphasis on science and exploration it's certainly less military uh, than it will come to later be, uh, and this kind of conveys it that they, you know, they're all part of a, a you know, scientific project, and they're, all, you know, they all can, can all, when they return to Earth, go out into uh, uh, into town and uh, be wearing their gear, uh, wearing their kit. Oh yeah, and that reminds me. Speaking of kit or lack of kit, the uh, you then have the undergarments, the light blue underwear, space underwear. I mean, you know, maybe I should be just grateful, because uh, it appears just like in the rest of the series. Um, apparently they just don't wear it from what you hear from uh, the cast. They just have to, like, squeeze in. Um, but it's pretty... I mean, it's meant to be stupid. It doesn't stop it being stupid. Like, a, a light blue underwear just is not a good look on anyone. Just don't do it, um, and I think for this reason, Starfleet probably stepped away from just doing underwear and you know left that to um, to to individuals to decide rather than issuing horrible uh, blue. Yeah, just 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 no, just no. Um, and finally, actually, with Enterprise, we'll talk about the um, another favourite feature of mine the space suits um, you get a couple of different space suits there's the um, one we see in the flashback episode where they're testing the uh, NX prototypes um, that's very good it's just an orange flight suit very much reminiscent of the 19 sort of 1950s jet era uh, and that's something that like I say Enterprise is very good very good at those callbacks um, but then you actually get to the NX era spacesuit, and I love this spacesuit. You know, um, it manages to look, you know, advanced, but also very primitive. It really, I'm really getting a sort of an old deep sea diver vibe off it, um, more than anything else. It, you know, like a, you know, one of those big uh, diving helmets. The, the, they used to wear it very much is reminiscent of that in a really good way in that you know the, this does feel like the first stage in that technology and things will get more advanced as they go on although the thing is actually and this is a sort of separate issue is that spacesuits in Star Trek don't seem to advance that much um, 
they all kind of just do the same thing and look slightly different. I mean, it's like, how can you? Once you've kind of got to the point where spacesuits are perfect or as good as they can be, i.e. they have the best air supply they can get, and I'm sure they, you know, you're only going to really see incremental changes. Um... But as a spacesuit, I I really like it. And I like the the vibe and I like the color as well. Again, giving that deep sea diver look, I think it looks really good. So I mean, when it comes to the um, uniforms from Enterprise, I really can't take that much issue. Apart, you know, I could say it's not original because it's based off the U.S. Coast Guard, but like they meant it to be. And, you know, I just I just can't find any ammunition apart from that ghastly underwear um, that really needed to I'm glad they that Starfleet uh, knocked off with that um, but so yeah those have been my thoughts on the uh, the first generation of Starfleet uniforms but what are your guys thoughts uh, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next video